And, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to throw MLF under the bus, and I didn't want to throw Bass under, I didn't want to throw any, anybody under the bus. I threw myself under the bus because I was going through a tough time for me, mentally. But when all that was going on, you know, Becky and I sort of knew at that very moment that, that I needed a break. I needed uh, a pause. I needed a change. I needed a rest from this sport. Um, you know, whether it was me working at this for 30 years, whether it was the time away from home, whether it was the struggles I was having mentally at Major League Fishing, or maybe it was a combination of all those, you know, I knew going into 2020 that I was going to need a pause. And out of the blue, in the spring, early spring of 2020, as we were feeling this, and as Becky and I already knew in our hearts and souls that we needed a pause, the world changed and COVID hit. I think, uh, Everyone remembers, you know, where they were at when the pandemic started, you know, and we were actually, I remember we were at the Philadelphia airport heading to the Bassmaster Classic. Um, and, you know, we were gonna be there representing Pro Edge with Bass University and Ike Foundation and Ike Live. And, and I remember at the airport, we're starting to hear that this pandemic is, might be a thing and then you know sure enough it was like within that time frame the next few weeks the world changed as the crisis sweeps the nation the toll is growing by the hour at least four states including oregon and ohio have now ordered all schools closed. And the virus now in all 50 states. There are now more than 6,400 cases in the U.S. That number is going to skyrocket as more tests take place. So far, 108 deaths. An update on the spread of the deadly coronavirus. Now, a short time ago, the World Health Organization declared the outbreak an international public health emergency. And, you know, when, when the world changed, I think everyone just hit the brakes, right? No matter where you lived in the world, no matter what your background was, your age, your gender, no matter what occupation you were in, no matter what anything, right? No matter what you did, you were affected. And, you know, there was an uncertainty to that time about how life would go on, you know, Personally, I remember it, you know, the fears of the family and you think about your parents, your elderly parents, right? You think about your aunts and your uncles, you think about your kids and how it will affect and change their life. And for sure, you know, you think about how it will affect you professionally. Um, you know, at the height of the pandemic, the tournament stopped. And, you know, BASS, FLW, and Major League Fishing, they were all paused, right? Just like other professional sports, you know, we were all put on hold, you know, we, we didn't know. And, and the world was in a weird place. Everything just kind of kind of shut down. Cities across the country are looking more like ghost towns. We're so used to seeing L.A.'s famous bumper to bumper traffic. But take a look at this L.A. freeway during rush hour yesterday. Virtually empty compared to what it's usually like in New York's Grand Central Terminal. Normally the busy gateway to the city is almost empty during this new era. Um, you know, that uncertainty and that fear really spread through the entire fishing industry uh, from the tournament leagues to the sponsors all the way to the anglers themselves and you know you had a large group a large body of professional anglers that their job was to 
tournament fish. And, you know, when you stopped all that, you know, everybody was kind of just almost like looking around, right? So you're, you're scared of the pandemic itself. You're scared of the future. What's, what's, what's going to happen in the business world, right? You're scared of all that. And I really remember it here uh, at home. And, you know, I remember there being this feeling of, all right, we have a decision to make right now. And we have to choose whether we just stop everything and just go with the flow, or we have to choose to do something else, something additional, or do more to compensate for this, this strange time. You know, when you look at Corona and the pandemic, uh, and I'm not gonna get into politics or anything like that, there are a lot of negative things. But one of the positives to Corona and the pandemic is it caused people to wanna be outside more and to want to fish more and to try it for the first time or try it again. They haven't fished since they were 10 and now they wanna try it again, right? When you look at fishing, it's the best thing you could do during a pandemic, right? You could social distance, you're outside, you're in nature, you've got the sun, the fresh air. So although we were in this weird, strange time, the time lent itself to new people fishing. And when we realized that, I think for Becky and I, and for our business and the people that we work with in our business, you know, instead of just taking our shoes off and saying, we're gonna wait it out. We decided at that point to step it up. And we decided to leverage things that we could do to continue to grow business, right? What could we do ourselves that would drive sales of products, that would grow our personal brand and business? And that in a bigger picture, what could we do that would continue to grow fishing? Fishing is one of the most analytical sports I know. And it changes, not just day to day or hour to hour, but minute to minute, second to second. How do I narrow the window? I want everything to have a reason. There's that 50% at which I'm not leaving anything to chance. The, the half that you do before you get there, and then the half that happens when it starts. Giving myself a template which to work, you've got it mapped out. It's the first day of practice and it's five, four, three, two, one, go. And you launch that boat and then the other 50% kicks in. You're looking out at that lake and you're saying, this, 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 this. Then the ability to let go, the ability to fish the moment. So we just said, you know what? Here's a time where I needed a break anyway. I needed a pause. Here's a time where this pause happened by default because of this pandemic. And here's a time where there are no tournament leagues. There is no FLW or Bass or Major League Fishing. There's no big tournaments. What a great time to, to, to prove that we can still reach people and we can still grow the sport. And it was a great little time for us to keep working and keep pushing. And, you know, when I look back at that year, when I look back at 2020, we just, we just doubled everything. We doubled our content, whether it was social media output, 
or digital output or YouTube output. We doubled it, tripled it. Uh, we did tournaments ourselves by holding virtual tournaments. We held three or four super successful tournaments by letting people go virtual through apps. We doubled and tripled our live content output, right? Ike Live was already a successful podcast. We decided to double down on it and do more Ike Lives. Um, we, we created live programming from the bar, Becky and I, to, to let people into our lives. Or in the shops we did live, live on the waters. And we just, we went all in. And as 2020 came to a close, you know, we really were at a place where we were being called to the plate by the tournament organizations. Um, I can really, I can vividly remember, close my eyes and remember the call from Major League Fishing. And, you know, the call was pretty much, Mike, we got to know. Um, we need an answer this week. This is the deadline. We need an answer this week. Are you going to be fishing the Bass Pro Tour in 2021? And as Becky and I looked at the results of what we did during the pandemic, as we looked at the amount of reach and the effectiveness that we had without relying on the tournament leagues, without having to fish a top tour. When we looked at that, when we looked at the fact that, man, I needed, I needed this break. And Becky, Becky knew it, she knew it. I needed this break. The time at home, the extra time with my kids and my family. I needed this refresh. I needed a pause. It was a clear decision that moving into 2021, I would not fish a major tour. I wouldn't fish major league fishing. I wouldn't fish bass on an invite back because of my status, the legend status. I didn't feel right about that. And at the end of the day, we wanted to continue in 2021, everything we were doing in 2020, including a brand new TV show called My World that we were putting together. Let me out of here! I'll take it. Welcome to my world. You ready for this? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm pretty damn impressed how easy he got it up there. We, we struggle ourselves. <sighs> Just keep thinking about fishing. And with all that stuff going on, it was obvious to us that in 2021, it would be the first official year that I was taking a break. Not a retirement, but a break from full-time competitive fishing. Heard you had a bad day, it ain't going your way, yeah, never give up, heard my life was a movie, I got people trying to use me, I will never give up, it's not about where you at, it's about where you headed, and all the things they say about you only hurt if you let it, I gotta put on for the kids cause they getting the message, I'm on my knees thinking Look at all of my blessings Look at little old me doing real big things From a real small town, I'ma make them all proud And these kids need a leader, I'ma show them all how Anybody in my way, then we gon' mow them all down Hey, front of Garden State, I got some deep roots Fisherman drip with some new boots I almost didn't make it, that's the real truth They call me the general, I got real juice Pull up in a bass cat doing donuts When I'm at the classic, the people go nuts Heard you had a bad day it ain't going your way, yeah. 
never give up Girl, my life was a movie I got people tryna use me I will never give up So here we go, you know, starting 2021, it was an interesting beginning to a year because it was the first time in well over 25 years that I was gonna start a year without fishing any major tour. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead of everything you know that you could get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like and Find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they want to rise up while you drown They want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out 